Well, my name is Jamaican Megan, man, from 7th and Teller, man. You know what I'm saying? All day, all day uptown. I don't go nowhere else. Washington, D.C., that's all I do. I don't go nowhere. <laughs> This is the Hollywood man right here on you know? TV. Let's it. make it. It's the you Mega Man. How you nice doing? Nice to meet bro? you. This is Seven Teller, you know what I'm saying? Oh, we, no. We've been doing this for a minute, you know what I'm saying? I've been here for a long ass time, man. I've seen a lot of motherfuckers get killed, a lot of motherfuckers uh, alive, a lot of motherfuckers make it out, a lot of motherfuckers turn superstars. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Still your hood, you know what I'm saying? A lot of good men die, a lot of good men, you know what I'm saying? A lot of good men get fucked over, cruddy shit. All that type of shit. But hey, that's the life you live, you know what I'm saying? Some motherfuckers come out of it, some don't. You gotta be strong. First and foremost, you gotta find motherfuckers that you fuck with, like fuck with. I know you got homies, you, but you got motherfuckers you fuck with. And if y'all y'all on the same page, yeah, you gonna make it up out of here. But y'all gotta have a plan. A lot of motherfuckers just be out here in the streets, just be out here in the streets. Cause it's fun. They wanna do what they do, but at the end of the game, motherfuckers be 50 and 60, ain't doing shit, ain't got nothing going for themselves. Like I say up here, Niggas all up here about the money. Niggas up here about the money, trying to make it. We ain't trying to do too much beefing or none of that bullshit. We're just trying to get some money. We're trying to take over shit. That's what we trying to do up here. But even with just trying to get the money, it come with the bullshit too. Yeah, that's why you got motherfuckers you fuck with. That mean when the shit happens, you good. A lot of motherfuckers you fuck with, they still turn over because the feds some bad motherfuckers. They fuck your life up. You think the nigga with you the whole time, 100%, but when the feds get you, that's a whole bunch of other shit going on. But you got some good niggas around you, you'll make it up out of here in a positive way. And the shit been real since day one. I've been out here since I was 13. I'm way up there now. But, like I said, every generation, every 10, 15 years, shit switch. When shit switch, other motherfuckers come in and shit move over. My other mindset was going on. Right now, today, I call these kids now, generation next day. Cause they just, they, they like fuck robots. They connected. That's all they do. They like motherfucking robots. They just motherfuckers, uh, they just go with the iPhone or what Siri say and what Lexus say and that's it. That's how they go now. So it's no really, no mechanism of what's going on. You made it through this a long time. You still here. Where's some shit that you had to go through and like you got some knowledge to you which means you had to learn it. Well, first of all, like the teachers from the old teachings, they tell you keep your mouth closed. And before you keep your mouth closed, you know what you're getting yourself into. For instance, when a motherfucker stop going to school, hanging out, doing what they do, you know the consequences. You know the price you're paying. See, when I when I stopped going to school and all that, going to high school and this fucking around, then when I got locked up, I say to myself, like, damn, the only thing they want from you when you get locked up is education. So what I did was got my GED, got my college degree. I know I'm going to be on the street some more. I, I know I don't give a fuck. But guess what? Every time I, get, I go to prison, my education way up there. So they can't do shit with me. But then after a while, you start being around my fucking in 25, 30, 40 years. They start teaching you shit. They start telling you what's going on. Go out there, put your education and your street smart together, and you're gonna survive on the street. You was talking about like just education and stuff. Even like motherfuckers not going to school, it's like I feel like you can learn a lot from a lot of people, but a lot of people just don't wanna learn. You can have street smart all day, but you need education. I don't give a fuck what you is, but guess what? When you learn about the court system, and you learn about with the police, the mentality, the lawyers and all that shit, when you learn that shit, you good. You can be on the street, cause you know what the fuck is going on. You know what I'm saying? You, you be, and you know your consequences. That's the number one thing. When you know your consequences, it's like blueprint. A lot of motherfuckers are locked up, but they don't know. They don't read the fine print. They don't know what the fine print is. Meaning, when you get locked up, damn, you can lose this, you can lose that. They press you out to tell on a motherfucker to do this, to do that type of shit. When you, when you understand your fine print and your consequences, street life ain't shit. But you choose what you want to do. When did you read the fine print? When did you get this knowledge and this understanding of this how you have to move? When I got this, when I started going through all them UPSs left and right, I mean, I've been to every UPS there is in the federal system. Every medium, every one of them Jones. And as you go through them, you find yourself. You find about two, three hundred motherfuckers like you. Some motherfuckers never come home. Some motherfuckers come home. But guess what? They teach you shit and you learn. So you wake up from there. It's a choice. You can wake up from jail. You can wake up from the, uh, the juvenile system. You can wake up from the penitentiary. But you're going to wake up sooner or later. And when you wake up, that's the choice you make. What you going to do? You can go back out there and be a fool. Or you can go back out there and make some money and do your thing. Positive or negative. I don't knock nobody. No, that's real. I feel like a lot of day, nowadays, why stuff is getting so bad is people don't just want to listen. We feel like we know everything. It's just... We crashed. I feel like growing up during your era, it was more OGs that people looked up to, listened to, that showed the way. I feel like it's not the same no more. It'll never be the same no more. The mentality changed. Like I tell you, today, the kids today, they call it Generation Next Day. They don't want to hear none of that shit. They don't want to hear how much you was a hero, what you done did, who you done did what. They don't want to hear none of that shit. They doing them. It's their time now. You just got to fall back. Like that motherfucking movie, American Me or American X, you just fall back and watch the youngins. They talking about go out, they jump out the old head. Nah, go ahead. My legs don't work no more. Y'all got this. It's y'all earth, 2023. I'm glad to be alive this long. 
Man, it's real. It's a blessing for real. All day. I know you have to bump your head along the road with some things that you had to go through and overcome. Well, for one, number one thing in my life, <clears throat> my kids. I don't give a fuck if a gangster you is. When you have kids, if that don't turn you around, you a cold-hearted motherfucker. But when you got kids and you see your kids grow up and look like you and want to be something, you're going to change. Growing up in the streets, what are some of your experiences? I've been there, seen it all, dog. Inside and out. A whole bunch of shit. Name it. <coughs> been there, seen it. A couple of my friends get killed in front of me. You know what I'm saying? Shit going on. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it is what it is. Going through that type of trauma, losing a friend in front of you, how does that affect you and how did that change your outlook on the world itself? Like I said, the person at the time or the situation, if I know the real behind it, I'm not that mad. You understand? No matter how detrimental it looks. If you're a close buddy or whatever, you know he was no angel or you know she was no angel and you're out there with the person. When the person die, the consequences, you're going to be hurt. But if you know what the person was doing, you ain't that hurt. You just say, yeah, that's another homie gone. It's a cold thing. I don't cry too much because I know what the motherfucker's into. You know, I'm just sad he gone so soon or she gone so early, but, you know, it is what it is. We come with the streets. Come with the streets. Like I said, once you know your consequences, man, you got to choose what you're going to choose. I'm guessing when you hear the innocents that get killed in the crossfire and stuff like that, Mr. Frey, how does that affect you then? Oh, it hurt. It hurt like a motherfucker. It hurt because, like they said in the Bible, they know not what they have done. You know what I'm saying? Either Jesus or somebody said that shit in the Bible. They know not what they have done. So the fact of the matter, me saying that is no guidance is out here. These kids just listen to the electronics. They just listen to what they're thinking and their thoughts and how they think shit is. So really for us to put a grip on it and, and, and slow down on these killings and stuff like that, it really come from higher up. You know what I'm saying? We, we putting our two cents in and all that. It's coming from a higher up. If you really want to get deep with it, it's coming from higher up because if the government and the people in charge of the government it's not in the daily day to day situation, they'll never change the situation. Nah, that's real. You feel what I'm saying? They not here every day. They just here because a piece of paper came on their desk and they're trying to talk good or they're gonna send they they break it all the way down from up top all the way to the mayor and then she she elect some people to come around and talk who don't live around here, who don't nothing around here. We don't see them every day. That's why the best motherfucker at our DC was Marin Bird. Marin Bird come through late at night. Early in the morning, whenever you see him and stop him, he'll kick it with you and all that. You tell him what's going on, what's the problem, and all that shit. These new government, they don't do that shit, man. Because in their mind, they're saying the kid's gone. It's over for them. That's what they're saying for real, for real. They're getting a paycheck, <coughs> trying to look good on, on, on the TV and all that shit. But they got to be here. They got to be here in the streets. They need to, they need to elect somebody that's going to be around every day, knock on these doors at night, talk to these people, talk to these kids, be here with you, go to the clubs, all that type of shit. Pull up on my phone. When they're having go-go's and shows, they need to go on the intermission and be like, listen, I need this to go on, I need this, this to go on because a lot of killing is going on, we need to slow down, all that type of shit. But if they don't do that, it's not going to work. That's crazy to hear that you say that they don't care because being from D.C., you would guess this the super government capital of this, this country. All the, offices, all the offices of the world is in D.C., but they work outside of D.C. It's my book right here from Mirror Mirror, all about D.C. Intelligent, wistful, thought-provoking, Mirror Mirror takes the dangerous story of a father and a son. Most of the situations going on these days is about fathers and sons and how they interact and what they do. So this book is a good reader. It's a bestseller. It's on Amazon. It's real cheap, $12. And trust me, reading this book right here gives you an insight of what's going on today in the lives of these youngins, especially the men and their sons. You need to put a cap on these sons because they're too wild. Don't, not, not to mention the females too now. Females are off the chain. But these young females, they push the young dudes to do what they want to do and start a whole bunch of shit and they fall in the back. So everybody first their mind comes up, all oh, these young niggas, these young niggas, nah, they young niggas. A lot of the young females got a lot to do with stuff too. And they mess up a lot. But like I say, it's back to um, consequences, what you want to get yourself into, how you going to maneuver yourself through life and what you learn. And as you go along, as you learn stuff and you be a better person, you can choose what path you want to choose, negative or positive. But with what's going on today and all these kids keep getting killed and left and right and all that type of stuff, I need, we need young soldiers to start going in these schools, number one, and just start talking to these kids, talk their language, talk like them. That's how you're going to get to them, talk like them, their language, what they're talking about, what's going on with them, their problems and stuff. And I'm not talking about high school or college. These junior high school, these baby schools and all that type of stuff, these kids these days are very, very smart. They're very smart and goes along with you. Nowadays, you treat a kid like a computer because that's all they got in their hands, a mini computer. So you treat them like a computer and you probably get 
into what they're talking about. You probably start learning more about them and their actions and what they do. Well, one, I'll let you get in. Uh, I'll let you go about your day. I just got one last question for you because you say your book is about father and son. Right. Me, I grew up without a father, but I feel like I'm doing pretty good for myself. What would you say that would be something that most people that grew up without a father lack? What do they lack by not having a father in their life? Let me see how I can answer that question. That, that's, that's a good question, but a child that grows up from the black community, a mm -hmm. child that grows up without a father, the reason why young, I can say young dudes that grow up without a father, in the black community, the ones that grow up and turn out to be something, they have a strong mother or a strong grandmother. If you do the survey, the ones that turn out to be something, they have somebody strong in the family that directly pinpointed them. The ones that grow up with their parents and become foolish or do foolish things, their mindset will, 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 was more on the outside, meaning the streets and peer pressure brought them up more than what's going on in the house. So kitchen talk is, how come your son ain't got no, no father, but he turned out to be good because the mother was strong, she was dead. She don't want the son go through what the father go through. You need a strong parenthood or you need a strong person in the family to lead you. Or like they say, you got them crazy uncles that be talking crazy all the time. A lot of time he talking crazy from the past, but he talking some true shit. So a lot of people absorb that stuff, be like, damn, yeah, my uncle said that, my, 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 my grandfather said that, and you learn from that. But like I said, back, back to what I'm saying, is the mind and the mindset and what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? You got people in my era coming up, every family had two or three crackheads. Every family had two or three dope things. I ain't, I ain't, I, I, I ain't turned out to be on dope or crack. You know what I'm saying? In my era, a lot of gay <coughs> motherfuckers running around. A lot of people ain't, ain't, ain't turn out to be gay. It's a strong mindset and a strong person in that family that you say you're not going to do it or they're not going to let you do it or you're going to go the straight path. And I don't know what the percentage is, but you got it. You, you, you got it quite a few motherfuckers that come up without, without nobody and still make it. And I tip my hat to them.